New Yorkers are on high alert this morning and bracing for protests in the event of the arrest of former President Donald Trump by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. That's right. President Trump whipped his supporters into a frenzy over the weekend after posting that he expects to be arrested on Tuesday over hush money paid to former adult film star Stormy Daniels. Now, Republicans came right to his defense, calling it politically motivated. The fact that the Manhattan DA thinks uh, that uh, indicting President Trump is his top priority, I think, is just tells you everything you need to know about the radical left in this country. It just feels like a politically charged prosecution here. So Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy tweeting that the impending charges were an outrageous abuse of power by a radical DA. So joining us this morning to discuss the possible indictment and how it could impact President Trump's reelection campaign is political analyst Morgan Pacma. Good morning, Morgan. Thanks for being with us this morning. Good morning, Hazel. All right, well, so the Manhattan District Attorney is calling this case his priority. Uh, he's been investigating President Trump for four years. Last week, Trump's former attorney, uh, Michael Cohen, testified before a grand jury. So who else is left to testify? And what do you think the likelihood is that an indictment will actually be handed down this week? Well, there's an expectation that one more person, at least, will appear before the grand jury today, a former associate of Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen. Um, whether we will see an indictment this week, we're not sure, but certainly uh, the former president has indicated that he thinks he will be indicted this week. Yeah, and, you know, there's a lot of talk about what this indictment could mean, Morgan. So do you think that an indictment would actually help the former president, right, because he is running for re-election, to galvanize more support from his base? Well, of course, that depends upon the outcome, if we see an outcome before the election, because these indictments can take a long time to, to go to trial. Um, the former chief judge of New York State former, uh, famously said you could indict a ham sandwich if you wanted to, so the bar isn't that high to bring an indictment. Mm. Um, but certainly the outcome matters. And then, you know, it, who, for whom is it a benefit? Does it rile up Trump's base, allow him to raise money, uh, allow him to maybe take some of the oxygen away from the other candidates? Almost certainly. Uh, but does it make Democrats and independents all the more, um, you know, assured that their impression of President Trump was correct? It probably does mm. that as well. So it's a mixed bag. Yeah, there is concern of, about what could happen here as far as protests are concerned. President Trump, he returned to Facebook and, and YouTube over the weekend following a two-year ban, but his call for protests came on Truth Social, and Democrats are comparing his call for demonstrations to his statements right before the January 6th riots. Do you think that they're similar? Should we be concerned? I certainly think that New Yorkers should be on alert uh, if the former president is putting out a call like that, which is either really callous or, or is methodical. Um, but, you know, certainly we've seen um, Trump supporters get really riled up in the mm -hmm. past and, and go to extraordinary lengths. And, and this is a, a call to action by the former president. Yeah, and by the way, just to, to point out that the mayor and the police commissioner both said they are ready just in case there are going to be protests on the streets of New York. But let me ask you this, Morgan, because Alan Dershowitz, famed attorney here, he even served as President Trump's impeachment lawyer, says that if Trump is indicted in New York, that he would likely be convicted, but he maintains that the former president would still get reelected and could run the country from prison. I mean, this is a whole wild story, right? The ups and downs, the roller coaster of a ride in the world of politics. But is there any truth to that? Could he actually run the presidency from prison? Oh, I'm, I'm not a legal expert, so I can't speak to that. Uh, I mean, I think there's a couple important things to think about. There's there's all sorts of legal proceedings against the president, uh, including in Atlanta right now, which is considered to be the most serious. Um, you know, the president has shown himself to be Teflon in the past and, and ex survived extraordinary scandal. Um, but, you know, there comes a point where, you know, people just reject that. And um, I am not so sure if an indictment will propel him into the presidency again. How serious do you think he's taking this? Because uh, President Trump, he appeared at a, a wrestling match in Oklahoma City yesterday. So if he is indicted this week, it could take a, a year before there's actually even a trial. And, and that'll coincide with the presidential election. Do you think the GOP would still nominate him as their candidate with all of this that's going on right now? 
Well, I think it's foolish for anyone who is indicted or arrested not to take that with extreme seriousness. And reportedly, the former president does take it seriously. Um, whether he's trying to play it up the theatrics for a maximum mm -hmm. PR effect, that's a, a different story there. Um, you know, it seems like there's a, a lot of indication that Republicans want to move on from the former president, uh, regardless of, of how popular he is. Um, is this something that helps push him out or brings him back into the fold? You know, that's something we're going to have to monitor in the coming months. Hey, yeah, you know, and let me ask you this because it, it, it seems like that they do want to move on, right? But then many of them are coming out yesterday saying this is a politically motivated witch hunt. So if they are going to galvanize around another candidate, wouldn't this be the time to do so? Right. Well, you see the Trump world putting a lot of pressure on Ron DeSantis to weigh in on this issue that he wants to be silent about because he doesn't want to make a false move here. Mm. Um, so certainly Trump folks think that this corners his opponents. Uh, and right now they seem to be put on the other foot. <clears throat> um, but, you know, also, I mean, this is this is a pretty tawdry case yeah. involving hush payments over an affair. Um, and so the more the public learns details about this, it's not one that burnishes someone's image. Mm. Yeah, still much more to come. Morgan Peck, my thanks again for bringing it all down for us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right.